Welcome to Center of Maths, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, we want to prove uh, that the that S of n equals the sum from j equals 1 to n uh, over the sum of all d such that d squared divided j of the Mobius function of d. Uh, S of n being uh, the number of square free integers less than or equal to n in this case. Uh, so this would follow if we could prove that the sum over all these uh, Mobius functions of d, such that d squared divided j equals 1 if and only if uh, j is square free. And to do this, first we can establish that the sum over uh, the Mobius function of d of over all d, such that d divided j equals 0 if j equals, is greater than 1. If it equals 1, clearly it's just 1. Uh, to prove this, we can proceed by induction. First, uh, note that if j is a power over prime, if uh, j is a power over prime, then uh, this sum is just Mobius function of 1, of p, of p squared, etc. Uh, the Mobius function of p squared and greater is just 0. Well, this function of p is minus 1, of 1 is 1, so this whole sum is 0. And then uh, assume it's, uh, we can assume the sum is true for some m, and we want to prove it's true for m times p to the a, where m and p to the a are both relatively prime. So uh, the sum over all of d, so that d divides m times p of a, is equivalent to the sum over all d divides m of uh, Mobius function of d times p of a, Mobius function of d times p of a minus 1, etc. Uh, so we're splitting this up into divisors, such that divisors have 1 power of p, have, uh, 0 powers of p, 1 power of p, 2 powers of p, all the way up to 8 powers of p. But if we assume our uh, sum is 0, for m, then it's going to be 0 for all of these as well. And so the whole thing is 0. And so we, we see we can build up any number essentially via powers or primes. And so it's true for any uh, integer greater than 1. So this identity holds true. So uh, this sum, if j is square free, uh, the only d squared that divides j is uh, d equals 1, so this will equal 1. Now if j is not square free, there are some p1, p2, p a such that the powers of these p's are all greater than 1. And so we only need to consider uh, d such that d divides one of these, uh, d divides uh, the total product of all these primes. So, yeah, if d divided any uh, prime uh, part of the square free part of j, d squared would not divide j, so we're going to ignore that. If d had any power greater than 1, then the Mobius function of it would just be 0, so we're going to ignore that. So we're, we really just want the divisors of this product p1 times p2, etc., all the way to pa. But from our identity we proved up here, we know this is just going to equal 0. So if it's not square free, the sum will just equal to 0. So this sum is really just counting how many, uh, it's, it's counting how many numbers less than or equal to n are square free. If, it, if it's not square free, this is 0. If it is square free, it's 1. And so the total sum is equal to our S of n. Thanks for watching. Uh, check us out on centermath.org. Check out our blog. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.